You're watching Let the Quran Speak. Now we answer questions we've received from you, our viewers. If you have a question yourself, please visit our website, QuranSpeaks.com. Okay, Brother Shabir, here's a question. Should the Quran be read in order of revelation? Mm -hmm. Well, to, to answer that, I, I have to say something about the order of, of revelation course, yes. and how that corresponds with the present order of the Quran. Um, the Quran was revealed, we believe, to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, over a period of 23 years, a piece at a time. Uh, the, the current uh, order in, in which these pieces have been arranged, uh, we believe also to be dictated by the Prophet, peace be upon him. Uh, so he told his scribes, write this in such and such a chapter or where such and such a thing is mentioned. But, but that, that is more so um, dealing with the order of the verses within the chapters. Um, when it comes to the order of chapters themselves, um, uh, some of this seems to have been based on the judgment of, uh, or the knowledge of the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him. And, and some think that this must have gone back to the Prophet himself, because if it was left to the judgment of the companions, there might have been differences among them about how exactly to order the, the Quran. Uh, so in, in short, we have uh, the Quran um, with verses within chapters ordered not according to the order in which they were revealed, and then the chapters themselves ordered in relation to each other, again, not necessarily in the order in which they were revealed. So the question is, how do we read the Quran? Well, mm -hmm. naturally, you open the book and you read it cover to cover um, uh, uh, as, it's been published. as it is published, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, but there is also a suggestion that it is important to see the order of the revelations, to see what came first and what came later, because then you can see the development of ideas. And by reading it in this way, you get the same sort of experience that the earliest Muslims had, because first they were exposed to those sort of verses, and then later on these other sorts of verses. Well, what sort? Uh, the earliest uh, revelations dealt with the main items of Muslim belief. Belief in God, belief in the life hereafter, belief in the Quran as a communication from God. So to get to that, we go to the shorter chapters of the Quran, which are usually found at the end. All right, thank you for that. That's all the time we have for the Shabir. Okay, you're welcome. Visit our website, QuranSpeaks.com, and check out our YouTube channel youtube.com slash Quran Speaks. As always, please continue to write to us. Your comments and questions help guide the show. I'm Sophia Ali. For all of us here at Let the Quran Speak, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.